same section. It's just the ones that are a little more difficult. So again, it's dealing with negative exponents and zero exponents. So um, when you're, they're just going to tell you to simplify these. And they want you to uh, have only positive exponents. So for some of these, all you do is you move stuff around. There's really nothing else you can do. This first one, the 4 is fine where it's at because it doesn't have a negative exponent. But this x has a negative, so all you would do is you'd move it underneath. So the 4 would stay on top, the x would move down, and remember, it's just the uh, exponent that changes signs. It's not the number or letter itself. So that's all you can do. We just simplified it, which you couldn't do anything, but we made it so it had all positive exponents. So this one, there's really nothing we can simplify. You just got to move this up to the top. So I'd be x to the fourth on top, it would change from negative to positive, the three would stay where it's at. So remember, it's just the one that the negative is hooked to that moves. Here there's two things, this one is negative, so you would just put it underneath. So the x cubed stays on top, the y moves to the bottom and it changes to positive six. So we won't do much, like actually figuring out? Not a lot, no. Oh, nice. There's a couple like here that you got to. This one, both of these are negative, so you just move them both underneath. So the 7 would stay where it's at. These two would just move underneath, and it would change to a positive 5 and a positive 1. And if it is a 1, it's not wrong if you write it there, but you don't need it. You could leave the 1 off, because if there's nothing there, that means it's a 1. Here, the only problem is there's two negative exponents, so you can move them both up. So those would move to the top and change to positive two, positive seven. The 11 would just stay where it's at. Here, we gotta do a little simplifying. It's in parentheses, so everything in here is to zero power, so that would change to? One. Just one. If the negative wasn't included, then it'd be negative one if it was written like that because then it's the 12 turns to the 1 but the negative still stays there but remember anything to the 0 power is always 1 so since it's in parentheses it just changes to 1 and then this would have to go underneath to change the y to the positive second and remember you don't just leave the top blank you got to put a 1 up there here we got to simplify. This would be 9 to the negative fourth, x to the negative fourth. Because remember, you got to do it to everything in the parentheses. So they both got to go underneath. It would be 1 over 9 to the positive fourth, x to the positive fourth. And 9 to the fourth. Is 6,000. 561. So this one, everything is raised to the negative third. So it would be 2 to the negative third, x cubed to the negative third. So what do you do to those two? Multiply, Multiply so that would be negative 9. And this one would be positive 24. So these two would have to go underneath. The y to the 24th would stay on top. So that would change underneath to 2 to the positive third, x to the positive ninth. 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 x to the ninth. So there's a few of them like that. I'll do a couple more like that one where you got to simplify.
All right. So here, everything's got to be raised to the seventh. So you multiply when it's a power to a power. So that'd be two to the negative seventy <coughs> x to the negative seventieth. So they both are negative exponents, so they both got to go underneath. So since there's nothing left on top, you put a 1. 2 to the 7th, x to the 70th. 2 to the 7th is 128. This one, there's a negative exponent, so you move it up. 15 over 5 simplifies to 3. three. So it would be 3y to the third. There's nothing <laughs> left on the bottom. You could put a 1 there, but you don't need it. Here we got to make everything to the negative third. So 8 to the negative third. x squared to the negative third. You multiply, so that's negative 6. So both of these got to move up. So it would be 8 to the 3rd, x to the 6th on top, nothing left on the bottom. 8 to the 3rd is 512, x to the 6th. You guys, does it seem difficult or not? No. Okay, good. This one, if there's a bunch of stuff in a parentheses, what you could do is simplify before you even do anything. Um, a negative 12 over 4, what does that make? Negative 3. And what's x to the negative fifth over x to the negative fifth? Zero. Not zero. One. Anything over itself is one. So this is just negative 3 times 1, which is just negative 3 raised to the negative fourth. So since it's a negative, this whole thing has to go underneath. And here's where some people make a mistake. They change this to a positive four, but then they also change that. Remember, it's only the exponent that changes. So that stays like that. Although it wouldn't matter once you figure it out. Is this going to end up being positive or negative? Negative. Positive, because there's four negatives. Negative times negative times negative times negative is positive. So that would be 1 over 81. Now you got to be careful. This is why some calculators, if you just punch in negative 3 raised to the fourth, it's going to give you some calculators will tell you that it's negative 81. Because... If you don't put the parentheses around it, it just does that and it leaves the negative there. So that's why it's better if you just look at it and you know if it's going to be positive or negative. There's an even amount of negatives and it's included, so that means it's going to cancel. So today's assignment is just the rest of this page that we just did. Thirty through forty five on page four fifty nine. <laughs> so there isn't a lot of simplifying until you get to like here, negative nine to zero is one. 1 times x is just x. These first ones are just moving things around to make so all the exponents are positive. So for 30, it's just 1 over x to the fifth. Yep, 30 through 45. 31, the 3 is fine where it's at. It doesn't have a negative exponent, and it's on top right now, so it stays there. But this would have to move underneath. So it would be 3 over x to the 4th. On 32, the 2 is fine. It doesn't have a negative exponent, but the x does, so that would have to move up. 
So x to the fifth would go on top to change it to positive. The two would just stay on the bottom where, where it was.